Welcome back to another DMZ, y'all. How you guys doing? So this is another story time part two. Um, in this story time, it's going to talk about me and my cousins. How we tried to do a mission the other day, and a team straight up flanked us. And I guess you might as well just say we wasn't having it anymore. So we took matters into our own hands. And hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So as you guys can see, we are first, first starting this video of us. All three of us is up here basically looting, trying to get stuff together um, from the previous game that we all lost. So we all need a book bag, three plate vests, you know, everything, just to get our stuff up. Moving too fast. Jeff, do you guys self-revive, G? No. Here. I'm still collecting all this dust and dirt. Oh. So everybody can have that. Um, so this right here is my cousin. I call her Queso, but you know, it's Case Sauce. She's one of the sweetest hearts ever playing DMZ. And I'm going to tell you right now, this season have ruined her. Man, see? My speedy. Ultra One, be advised, that's safe. Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. Do you ever get that funny feeling like something's not right? Like something's about to happen? Well, I sure did. And I'm going to tell you right now, that feeling did not feel good. You're about to see. Ultra One, a squad mate is down. So I've been playing DMZ now for about the last two or three months and I have trained my ears to listen out for different shootings, footsteps and whatnot. And as you can see right here, one of my family members go down and I was trying to listen out for to see which way it was coming from because like I told you before, I had that feeling that something is just not right. And damn, I was sure right about it. Hmm. I'm using myself, I'm not using it. Don't worry, you'll make it. Whoa! Whoa! You know what, you no know good? He's a poop you. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. No! Why'd you shoot me? I didn't shoot at you. Like, come on now. What's fucking wrong? No, you see, you can have something and then you gotta do that shit. What the fuck? Don't worry about it, let's probably get him. Now, at this moment, this is when I knew Queso had had enough. Man, she had just lost all her stuff the previous game. Now she lost all her stuff again at this round. She was just fed up with this game, these players, everybody. Mark got fed up with the players and everybody else too. And for me, I was still chillaxing, still in my mold, still just laughing and giggling. But Queso, on the other hand, had enough. It was time to get back revenge. As we went back to the room, you shall see what the next conversation was that motivated me to let's get these players. I'm playing with y'all tonight. 
Why? Cause why? Are we gonna have you laughing too hard? You gonna bust your stitches or something? Why? <laughs> <laughs> why? You one of us? Man. Why? You one of us now? You have joined the club. <laughs> Whether you realize it or not, you are one of us. The way you, the way you reacted earlier and last night, you are now one of us. Because oh, I'm gonna play nice. Because I'm gonna play really nice. Because before you used to play really, really nice. You used to give people benefit of the doubt and pick up players and you know take the time and help out people. Well, you just got to be a swimmer. <laughs> and now you become like me and Mark. You don't care no more. You don't want to help out nobody. <laughs> no nobody. kids, no kids, no clan, no no what, no nobody's mother. You don't want to help out nobody on this game. Cause I remember at one point in time you used to be the one to tell me and Mark, oh, I gotta stop downing everybody. <laughs> Cause y'all bringing all the heat over here to us. <laughs> Man. Well, we're gonna bring the heat to them. How Man. about we bring the heat to them? <laughs> okay, I'm with it. And that right there, my friend, that was to confirm my need. That was to confirm to let you all know and to tell us all she's not playing. Funny games is now over with. It's time to get serious. It's time to take down these players. And that's when the so-called laughing side of me switched out and tagged in and put the serious side on. And boy, did I ever get serious playing this one. Now, side note, if you ever see me out with my baton, just know shit has gotten serious. I normally come out with my baton and I normally have my riot shield, but this round... I just brought my baton, baby. It's time to go to work. Now at this point right here, my cousin, aka Queso, had just put up a UAV and I had noticed in the corner there was a player coming up on us and Mark was talking at the time. And what that player did not know, he was in for a rude ass waking for a good ass whooping. Let's roll this clip right here. It is funny as hell. Shoutouts to Prime, aka Mark. Ooh, sweet baby Ray, let's just take a moment off this man that just caught this mean ass ass whooping. He thought he was gonna run up, run up on my boy Prime, aka Mark, but what he did not know was an ass whooping coming for him. Look at this clip. Wham! Right in your damn head. That's the fuck you get. I'm tired, I'm tired, but I'm, I'm over Come get him. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He he's gone. In. Yep, he's gone. I'm just yep. taking some more stuff off of him. Oh, he got that silence to him in here. Man, he's a good person. Man, you are so nice, man. Thank you. Thank you for all that. I needed that. I was holding this at first. I was homeless at first, but now I'm rich. Yeah. Dumb man. Let's go. Let's look at you. I saw him. When I saw him, I said, "Oh, I got your ass." I just want to say, if it wasn't for Queso, 
we would have all been dropped. But by her putting up that UAV, she did the justice. I show you right now. She not, she not, I did, I did everybody proud. <laughs> she didn't say the damn thing. She like, so right after we got finished putting down that player, we actually went ahead and moved on to the next um, stronghold. So as you can see right here, as my cousin hit that UAV, I noticed there was two players coming up on us, so I started to go ahead and get ready for war, and I do mean it was war. I don't know if they picked up on it, but I sure damn did. <laughs> So this squad really thought they was gonna get us. They thought they were gonna catch us up here lacking. But what they didn't know that this black stick was waiting for them to beat the all black mighty tar out of them. Uh, uh, uh. They came up through the zip line guys and they got exactly what they was looking for. An ass whooping. Can you deal with that? Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys right here, they did send us an invite, but because of the type of time we was on, we was taking no prisons, no mercy, no nothing, and we just didn't want to hear it, so we proceeded. Now why you gotta do that Bobby? Why you gotta go do that Bobby? Why you ain't gonna do that, Bobby? Why you ain't do that? Ultra One, be advised, an operator nah, in your area needs to Nah, medical. brother. Nah, he don't need no help. He don't need no help. <laughs> nah, he don't need no help, brother. You alright? You got this. Ultra One, you've got hostile. You, Ultra One, be advised, team. that dog tag marks your team. location for enemy operators. Day. Expect oh, contact. Man, that's a nice gun. What other guy at? Did you get him? Yeah, he's gone. Nah. His body's still here. Yeah, I know. Ultra One, you've secured the tag. That enemy squad will be tracking you now. Him. Stay sharp. Nothing. Move in here. Request and recall. Nothing. Copy that. New AV oh, online and opening the AO. There you go. So as I pop that UAV, what do I see? The third member coming in, trying to save the day with his team. So what I do guys, I gave him a fair one. I gave him a fair one right after this. I gave him his chance, I told him, hey, go on about your way. You're about to see. I'm going to tell you this right now. Go ahead about your way. Ultra One, a squad mate is down. You are taking effective fire. Go ahead, about your way. Go ahead go about your way. See, it's one thing about me, guys, you're going to learn. I love when players don't take my warning. Look at him, scared, trying to reload. And he would have had me, but one thing he didn't count on was this damn nice stick about to whoop his ass. Nice. <laughs> mm. Mm. Should have been a master of the nice stick. Too. 
I told him to go about his way, and I said it on the mic. Yep. He, he up the hallway, huh, Yep. Yeah. No, I'm not about to leave what I got going on right now. No. I think this is the area to stay. I got a uh, stronghold here. I can pop this open. Yeah. 